Hey guys, it's Dasha. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my recipe for a healthy, gluten-free, and vegan brownie. These brownies are extremely chocolatey and fudgy, and they're literally everything you expect when you think of the perfect brownie. Now, I am somebody who loves to have a nice scoop of ice cream with my brownie, so I'm also going to be sharing my vegan vanilla ice cream recipe. I do want to remind you guys that this is still considered a dessert, so don't go too crazy, but do enjoy. So if you're interested, please continue watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more healthy recipes. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to start off with the ice cream because it needs at least four hours in the freezer to become frozen. You're going to start off with your frozen bananas. Then you're going to add your dates, one can of coconut cream, and vanilla. Now you're going to blend it up until it becomes smooth. Once that's all smooth, you're going to pour your mixture into a bowl and freeze it for at least 4 hours. Now that the ice cream is in the freezer, you're going to move on to making the brownies. You're going to need two bowls and a rectangular baking tray. What I like to do is line up the tray with parchment paper, that way it's easier to take out the brownie from the pan when it's ready. You're going to start off by preheating the oven to 375 degrees. Once you gathered up all your ingredients, we're going to start mixing the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients. So you're going to add the coconut flour into a bowl, as well as the coconut sugar, the cacao powder, and the baking soda. And then you're going to mix. Now you're going to move on to mixing the wet ingredients. Firstly, you're going to start off by mashing up two bananas. Now you're going to take the water and pour it into a cup with the ground flax seeds. Then you're going to mix it up and let it sit for at least three minutes. In the meantime, we're going to combine the wet ingredients. So we're going to start off with the mashed bananas. And the tahini, the vanilla, and the salt. Now when the flax seeds have combined it with the water, you're going to add the mixture into the wet ingredients. And we're going to mix again. Finally, we're going to add the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. Now once that is all combined, you're going to chop up some chocolate and add it into the mixture. I will be using this chocolate bar. It's organic, vegan, soy free, and gluten free, and also paleo friendly. I've never tried it out, so this is going to be my first time trying this, and we'll see how it turns out. Now once that's ready, you're going to pour your mixture into your pan. 